Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. And we have a two week weigh-in. Last Friday I was in Hawaii so there was no weigh-in video. So this one is post vacation weigh-in. And this one is very interesting. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We're also gonna talk about my last couple of weeks as well as this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. You know this is how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's chat about my trip to Hawaii, my interesting weigh-in, my weeks, and this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you have had an amazing last couple of weeks. I had an amazing last couple of weeks. I spent one almost full week in Hawaii. I did post a lot in my Facebook group as well as on my Instagram pictures and information about my trip. Hopefully you follow me there so you kind of know how my trip went, but we had an amazing time. My girlfriends and I went to Kauai and we snorkeled, we kayaked, we hiked, we went to a luau, we saw all the sights. It was absolutely fantastic. We also ate all the food. I had malasadas twice. We ate out for pretty much every single meal. I ate a lot of really good fresh fish. The fish in Hawaii is a 10 out of a 10. I really focused on getting in my protein while I was in Hawaii. I did have my protein coffee every single morning. Yes, I pack in my checked luggage pre-made protein shakes so that I can have my protein coffee. I packed protein bars. So every day I had a protein coffee and a protein bar which really helped kind of jumpstart my protein for the day. And then I made sure that all of my meals and snacks included some protein. And then I got to eat all the other foods that I loved in Hawaii. We had dessert every single day. It was fantastic. I mean, what's better than a girl's trip to Hawaii? We're already planning and prepping for this next year. So I flew home on Thursday of last week. That's why there wasn't a weigh-in on Friday. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that even though I got home late on Thursday, I got right back to it Friday. I got up at 4 a.m. and went to boot camp. Went to boot camp right after returning from Hawaii and have continued eating well, working out, and just getting back to my normal routine. That's the best thing you can do post-vacation. Enjoy your vacation, enjoy every minute of it, and then when you get home, just get back to your normal routine. Before we jump into my interesting weigh-in, let's talk a little bit about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to build your meals to keep you energized and strong. Now lifting weights isn't the only way to focus on your strength. What you eat plays a role too, equally as important as a role as strength training. There's some tips and tricks that you can use to build your meals for maximum nutrients and maximum weight loss and fitness success. Step one, outline your day or week of eating. Decide when and where you'll eat and how many points you'll use. Step two, start with a protein base. For each meal, choose a zero point or low point food like chicken or turkey breast, pork tenderloin, non-fat Greek yogurt, salmon, or other oily fish. And then step three, add fruits, veggies, and or grains. Try to work in produce that delivers extra calcium like kale and broccoli. And step four, finalize your plans. Think about what sauces or dressings you'll use and how you'll prepare your meal. I love that the big takeaway from this topic of Weight Watchers is about protein. And again, building the foundation in your meals around protein. That is what I did in Hawaii. That is what I do every every day of my life, and that is what has led to my weight loss success. One not so fun fact about weight loss is there's a difference, first of all, between weight loss and fat loss. So weight loss is lean muscle, water, and fat, fat is fat. So when we're focused on weight loss, we often lose a little bit of our lean muscle. This is something that we don't want to do. And the only way to counteract the loss of lean muscle when losing weight is to focus on fat loss. And that means number one, eating enough protein, and number two, eating enough calories. That is how you can combat losing lean muscle and really just lose fat. Protein, calcium, vitamin D, these all play a part in maintaining your lean muscle. First, protein. Research shows higher protein intake helps preserve muscle and promote more fat loss on a weight loss journey. Protein also contributes 
to bone health. Calcium and vitamin D. On its own, calcium is known for maintaining and fortifying bones, but it works even harder when paired with vitamin D, which helps the body better absorb and hold on to calcium. Foods like sardines, milk, cheese, and certain cereals contain both. Weight Watchers is a very low calorie diet. That is why I highly recommend focusing on eating a lot, and I mean a lot of zero point foods, and eating every single one of your weeklies in order to ensure that you're eating enough calories and help stop the loss of lean muscle. We do not want to lose lean muscle. Lean muscle burns calories at rest. So while I'm sitting here right now, because I do have quite a bit of lean muscle, I'm burning calories doing absolutely nothing. Lean muscle is also a lot smaller. A pound of lean muscle is this, a pound of fat is this. We want to replace the pound of fat with a pound of lean muscle and our body's gonna look smaller. So it's important to maintain your lean muscle and protein, calcium, vitamin D, and eating enough calories is the only way to do that. Make sure you're eating a balanced diet, that you're not restricting or eliminating any foods or food groups. Eat carbs, eat fat, eat protein, eat dairy, eat it all and eat it all in moderation. As always, I wanna share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, eating foods rich in protein, calcium and vitamin D can help maintain muscle and bone strength while losing weight. Number two, protein helps you stay fuller longer which can support weight loss. And number three, planning meals allows you to make more intentional choices and ensure that you get the nutrients needed to keep your body strong. Protein should be the focus of every meal and snack every meal and snack. Make sure that your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner contain the most protein, anywhere from 20 to 40 grams per meal. And then you're making up the rest of your protein goal with your snacks throughout the day. Like I said, I do offer personalized macros and calories. If you don't know your protein goal, definitely have your macros and calories done. I will give you protein, carb, and fat goals as well as your calories. Do not use online calculators. If you enter your information into five online calculators, you're going to get five different responses. You need to have your macros and calories done specific to you. And that is the service that I offer. That is the service I gave myself. And that's how I've lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss. I am the leanest, strongest, fittest I've ever been. And I focus on protein. That has been the magic bullet for fat loss and keeping it off. Let me know down below what are your favorite sources of protein. And now let's jump into my weigh-in. So I mentioned that I got back from Hawaii on Thursday. My typical weigh-in day, as you know, is Friday. So I got home Thursday night. I hopped on the scale Friday morning, fully anticipating either a maintenance or a potential spike in my weight not a weight gain. You notice I didn't say that I would have gained weight in Hawaii. I definitely didn't eat in a surplus. So I knew that I didn't actually gain fat or gain weight, but I kind of expected the scale to spike up with travel bloat, with eating different foods, with maybe not drinking enough water. But when I actually got on the scale upon returning home from Hawaii, I actually lost weight in Hawaii. I was down almost a full pound on the scale. Now, I didn't know what to expect throughout the week. I didn't know if my weight would go back up, if it would continue to trend down, if it would kind of stabilize. But honestly, I was shocked to see the scale go down after my trip. I fully intended, like I mentioned, to just maintain my weight when I was in Hawaii and I fully expected to see a little bit of a spike and then knowing that that would probably level out throughout the week. So I got back on track, I ate my protein, I worked out, I drank my water, I did all the normal things that I do at home. And when I stepped on the scale today, which is one week after returning home from Hawaii, my weight is actually still down that pound. So I lost and maintained a solid one pound weight loss on vacation. You can lose weight on vacation, you don't have to come back five or 10 pounds heavier. You just need to make sure that you're eating your protein, that you're choosing the right meals, that you're enjoying your trip, you're having dessert, you're eating out, you're having a burger and fries. You're enjoying your trip, but you're eating in moderation and you're eating a lot of the same foods that you eat at home and really focusing on protein. This topic just falls right in line with my trip to Hawaii. I firmly believe that by making sure that I hit my protein goal every day, all I drank on my trip was water. As you know, I don't drink alcohol, so I drink water and coffee. I don't drink carbonated beverages. We were active, we kayaked, we hiked, we made sure we got in a lot of steps and I came home a pound lighter and maintained that pound the entire last week. I am going to pop up here on the screen my current weight as well as how much I have lost total and 
I really truly couldn't be happier losing that pound and I would have been happy with a weight maintenance as well. I actually have another trip coming up here. I'm heading to Texas on November 1st. So guess what I'm doing? The same thing I did in Hawaii. I'm going to follow the same plan. I'm going to enjoy my vacation. I'm going to eat all the fun foods. I'm going to get in my protein and do everything in moderation. And I'm again, hoping to maintain my weight on this next little vacation. So let me know down below again, what are your favorite sources of protein? How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to get your personalized macros and calories done. Please, please, please know what your goals are every day to lose fat and maintain that fat loss. I also link my favorite things in the description box and come join my Facebook group. It's free and we'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Have an amazing, amazing day and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.